Hello, my name is Henry. I'm from Lamouette Restaurant in Seapoint. Um, today we're cooking uh, pan fried duck uh, with braised lentils, uh, butternut squash, and confit duck ravioli. And this is for food24.com. So we're going to start off by making the ravioli filling. And start off with some olive oil. Add some finely chopped onion. I'm just going to chop some garlic now for that as well. In goes our garlic. And then butternut squash. And some more salt. And we just need to gently turn down the heat. Now we've got some heat in the pan. Um, and just slowly cook it until the butternut squash breaks down and intensifies the flavour. And in the meantime, we're going to make some pasta. So for the pasta, we're going to just take um, 140 grams of flour, um, two whole eggs, which is just beaten, put some salt, some olive oil, and then in goes the egg. And then all we're doing is starting in the middle and then work our way out just to incorporate the flour. So once it's forming a stiffish ball like that, we're going to turn it out onto a floured surface. And we need to knead this for about 10 minutes. So once you've kneaded it, you see it comes quite stiff and smooth. And then when you press in, it should pop out your fingerprint. So that gets rested in the fridge for about half an hour. So you can see, as we cook the butternut squash, it starts becoming soft and just breaking down a little bit. Beginning just to form more or less like a paste now, which is ideally what we want for the pasta filling. What we want to do is just pull it away from the heat. And um, I've got some duck confit here. So it's duck leg, which was salted for 24 hours. And then we braise it for like about six hours. And that goes in, back on the heat. And we just want to break the duck down as well. Once we're up to that point, we just add some parmesan into it. A little bit of breadcrumbs just to bind the fuss. We're just going to put some parsley in it. Okay, and just so the parmesan just melts down a little bit. So this goes into the fridge for about two hours till it forms a hard paste. Right, so we're actually going to make the raviolis now. And what we do is take the fast um, and then we're just going to make some balls out of it. A little bit smaller than a golf ball. Okay, so we're going to take a pasta dough from the fridge. Okay, so it's about that thickness. Roll it out a little bit. So we just put that through on the first setting on the pasta machine. Touch more flour so it doesn't stick. And then take it down to the next couple of settings. Pass that through again. And then you just want to go up to the penultimate setting on the machine. Otherwise, if you go to the finest one, it's a little bit too fine. And the pasta tends to tear a little bit. Okay, so we need to divide the pasta into two. We've got a bottom layer and a top layer. And then we put the butternut fast in the middle. And just push it down with the palm of your hand. And we just take some a little bit egg white with a pastry brush. And then that goes over the top. So it's nice and tight over it. And then we've got two rings. One of them is just to go around and to seal the pasta so no air can get in. And then cut it out with a larger ring. Make sure it's in the middle. And there you go, that easy. We're going to start cooking the ducks now. So we're just going to start off by scoring the duck fat. And what this does, it sort of renders all the fat away. It becomes crispy. Season it up. Quite heavily on the fat side, because the salt helps to render down the fat. So no fat or anything, because there's so much fat in the duck. Um, so we just pop the breast in like that, and then we can just turn down the heat. Just leave it on like that. Uh, and then whilst that's rendering away, we're going to cook the lentils. A little bit of olive oil. We've got some diced shallot, diced carrot, and diced celery. we we'll just pop a little bit of butter in there as well. And we're just going to add a little bit of chopped thyme for the vegetables. And the lentils we're using today, they're called beluga lentils. Now these duck breasts are quite thin, so we're going to give it roughly about four minutes through the oven. Pink. Give it a feel, give it a quick face. We just need to take it out and rest it. And now we're going to cook our ravioli. Just add a handful of salt to the water. Whilst those are cooking, we're going to plate our lentils. And we're going to slice the duck breast. And 
then our ravioli on top. Um, and then I've got a little bit of cress going around the plates. And then we'll just finish with that with the sauce. And some onion rings. And some fresh cress on top. And a little bit of fresh black pepper. And that's it.